Welcome back to Lower Body. I am Coach Gene. We're going to be working a little bit differently today. We're going to be working on rotation. Okay, the first week we focused on that step up series, then we went to that gate series where we were focusing on running mechanics today. We're going to be doing a little bit of rotating with the lower half. Now, if you have equipment, you can use it, but this is just body weight only. Today, I will ask that you clear out some space. If you have a yoga mat at home, you can use that for some padding, but ideally you will need some space, okay? Nothing more than what I have here, even if it's a little smaller. We're going to be jumping around a little bit, twisting, um, and I'm going to be challenging you with some rotation for the lower half, okay? So why don't we get started on the ground. We're going to be doing a leg cradle. If you're not familiar with the leg cradle, pretend that your knee is baby's head. You're turning your heel in and then hugging that knee on the outside of your lower leg, pushing it into your chest, and then relaxing. Okay, we're going to be doing this five times. Hold for a second at the top, and then release. Let that leg come out extended. Gain new range each rep. Five each side. Three. Four and five. All right, once you've done five each, set, uh, each side of that leg cradle, go ahead and rotate to your quadruped position. From here, drive your left leg back, right leg's gonna come up in front. We're gonna go into a pigeon stretch. So I'm gonna angle my heel in with this front leg and try to drive my glute to the ground, reaching down and then coming back up. So I get that nice good stretch, trying to focus on that external rotation and that hip, okay, and then back up. Five reps here, team. Back up. Same thing on the other side. Right leg is now extended, left leg in front, angle that heel in, drive my butt cheek into the ground. And then back up. Five reps. All right, once you've done five there, we're going to go into a half kneeling position. Right leg is forward. I'm going to angle this front leg out, okay, to that nice diagonal angle, and then back leg, that heel, I'm just going to rotate it in. And then I'm just going to drive forward, trying to get this adductor and groin area rocking over my toe. So the knee rocks over the toe, and then I come back. Okay, try to keep your spine as neutral as possible. You can do that by bracing with the inhale. Hold, exhale out as you come back. So inhale, hold, exhale, come back. Five reps each side. Go over again, other side, so half kneeling. Give me that diagonal angle of that front foot, angle in, give me that nice groin stretch, okay? Again, five reps. And five. Once you've done five, go ahead and stand up. We are going to go into a Basically a supplemental movement if you don't have bands, which we do not, we're just using our, our body weight. Shift your weight into your left leg, sink into that left leg, right leg comes off the ground, and I'm just going to reach out horizontally to that 3 o'clock here, give me a nice touch, 20 reps. We've done this one before, but you're going to feel that glute knee, ankle start to activate a little bit. Number 20 reps here. Stand up and switch. Okay, so right leg now, sink into that leg, sink into the ground, reach. One, two,
20 and stand. Good. All right, from there we're going to go into that drop lunge. So right leg reaches behind the left, drop down, big curtsy, stand up. Five reps here, nice and slow. Hands, you can tuck them into your rib cage, or you can bring them out to a T for balance, or you can reach them out forward. Okay? Lots of options. The hands always have a job. Once you're done, switch it up. Five and five. Awesome. All right. We're going to do a little core activation as well as glutes here. We're going to hand walk. Then we're going to do glute kicks off that hand walk. So once I walk my hands all the way out, you're just going to kick up with that extended knee. Kick up, hold, come back down, and alternating side to side. Let me show you. So a big hand walk. From here, get to your plank position. You're just kicking up five each side. Nine, ten. Walk your hands back up. Awesome. Now we're going to go into the final portion of the warm up. It's always that neural activation. We're going to drop down into our base position, nice and aggressive with the hands and the knees. Drop down, and then give me a nice shuffle to the right or left. And we're just going to do that for ten reps. So, nice and aggressive drop on your own and shuffle out. Okay, so you can do this in your living room, wherever you're at, so drop down as if a carpet's getting pulled out from underneath your feet, and then give me that nice lateral step to base. Here we go, drop down, boom, drop, go. 10 reps here, so punch and recover. Drop down, punch and recover. 10 reps total, five each side. So we're going to break today up uh, into three different portions uh, and then we're, we're going to finish with a little bit of core at the end. So we're going to really focus on the lower half throughout the day and then finish with the big bang with the midsection and a little bit of glutes. Okay, so the first block we're going to focus on power. So let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to sink into our left leg nice and low as we know, as we all know how to do. Okay, and then from there, you're going to do a vertical hop landing on the same leg. Okay, vertical hop, land nice and soft, and then you're going to do basically a lateral bound. Lateral bound to the opposite leg, and you're just going to set yourself right back into that position. Hop up and hop out. Hop up, hop out. Okay, you can take as much rest as you need. We're going to be doing two of each. My ask, take your time. This isn't a metabolic portion, this is a power portion. So we're really trying to focus on exploding through the hip, vertically, and that nice lateral uh, bound as well. Okay, so let's give that a try. Focusing on that left leg, a little restart here. Load up, big hop, land, big lateral bound, land. Hop up, hop out. Kind of puts you in the right position once you do that vertical hop where you're just sinking down, right up, and then bounding out. Give that a try. Two of each, real brief. Take a nice rest, shake it off. We're going to try that for three different rounds, okay? Three different rounds in this power block. Biggest thing here on this second set, okay, is that we are starting in this coiled position, this non-counter position. And then we're going to finish with the last round where we're really trying to load and explode. Okay, so coil up, sink, 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 vertical hop, boom, and then bound. You can even reset between each leg. Load, boom, go. Okay, this is the base of trying to understand the medial portion of our foot to be able to do some multi direction, which today we're focusing on that shuffle position. Move up. Good. Okay. All right. So 
Last round, I'll challenge you. Start at a tall position or a standing position. You can sink in. Once you hit the ground, right to that lateral bound. Okay, so start standing. Instead of coiling first, start nice and tall. Sink in and out. Boom, land smooth. Give me that lateral bound. Reset. Same thing on the opposite side. Okay, see how that works? Same thing the other way. All right, have some fun with that. Of course, safety first within your living room. Three rounds playing with that power portion. Today we're trying to get that nice aggressive shuffle step for all my multi-duration athletes. All right, so hope you guys had some fun with, that, with those hops and bounds. Now we're gonna move on to our strength block for today. You will be doing a T-hip series, okay? So like our thoracic rotation, we also wanna be able to rotate internally and externally with the hip. We're gonna to try to play with that in the high split position, okay? Go ahead and follow me here, and then you can go ahead and give it a try. So feet at neutral, right foot is now gonna turn, so I have that nice kind of 90 degree angle here. I'm gonna take a generous step out so I'm soft on that front side. And notice how my back leg is still pointed towards you. Okay, all I'm gonna do is wrap that toe and close that hip to that front leg and then open that hip. Okay, close the hip and open the hip. Those are the only thing I want you to do for this first round. Okay, so just get used to pivoting on that back toe or back ball of your foot and then opening up towards me. Notice how my torso kind of goes with my leg. Just get used to rotating in and out. Okay, you can do the same thing on the other side. So, neutral position, 90 degrees, generous step out. This kind of gets left in the dust. And now I'm just picking out my heel and rotating in and out. Okay, in and out. Trying to really own this in position is super important for the internal rotation and then coming back. So a little skill here. Five reps in and out, play with that, and then we're gonna move on to our lateral lunge. Now here, you can use some dumbbells or any kind of external load that you wanna use at home. You can use a kettlebell, water bottles. We are gonna get into our big triangle position. Okay, so we have that nice wide base, almost like that sumo stance. Lateral lunge down, all the way down. Okay, come up for a half rep. Down, back into that bottom position, and then a full rep up. Again, all the way down, halfway up, down, full rep. Five times. Down, halfway, down, full rep. Three, four, five. Same thing on the other side. So remember, half rep plus full rep counts as one rep. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. So half, full, one rep, that's two. Half, full, that's three. Half, full, that's four. Half, full, that's five. Okay, you got the lower half down. Now it's time to use your hands and your arms, okay? So let's get back to that high split. We're gonna do another round here. This time I want you to try to focus on Pushing and pulling, okay, pushing and pulling. Now when we start to close that hip, you wanna reach with your opposite hand against this lead leg. So get to your 90 position, generous step out. As we start to close the hip, left hand is now going against the grain, reaching across, and now I'm opening up. So I'm pushing and I'm pulling, and now I have these nice levers that are active, okay? They're nice and active, and they're creating some stability almost like a, a ninja routine, as I call it sometimes, and then switch it up. Okay, 90 degrees, generous step out, push against, rotate, okay? You're gonna feel that hip start to open up even more. Four, and five, good. All right, now with the lateral lunge, instead of starting in that sumo position, now I'm gonna challenge you to start 
in that nice standing position. Okay, big step out, half, four, now I'm meeting myself to a standing position. Half, four, standing position. Okay, if I want to, I can rotate a little bit with those arms by my side, keeping that neutral grip. I'm just rotating my spine into that knee and I'm coming back. So I'm loading up that big toe. You should start to feel in that medial part of your leg. Now if you want to add or subtract reps, you can. Five is the number, you can go all the way up to 10 each side. Those are the two movements that we're really focusing on today. Half rep to full rep and that lateral lunge. Good, and stand. All right, this portion, I'm gonna tell you, you can pause the video. You can do another three or four sets. Uh, all right, this portion of the video, I'm gonna tell you, you can pause the video and finish another set on your own, or you can finish another two sets on your own, trying to focus on that high split position with that T-hip uh, rotation, okay? So trying to rotate around that front leg, super important. Uh, for any kind of uh, movement, linear, laterally, multi-direction, challenge you with that movement, and even with those arms, even though we don't have weight, give it a try. All right, if not, come join me for some fun for this nice sweat portion of our day. So for this next section, we're gonna be combining these movements, testing your fitness level, and really pushing the sweat, okay? So have those towels ready. Two movements here, okay? So we're gonna be doing that lateral bound, and then you're gonna be adding a, a jump, okay? Similar to that power portion, except now we get to use two legs. So it's a big shuffle, jump up. Land, shuffle, jump. Land, and shuffle, and jump. For 20 seconds, okay? Then you have 10 seconds to rest, and then the other 20 seconds is movement number two, is just alternating drop lunge. One thing that we know for sure is the drop lunge. Try to focus on reps here, okay? Try to accomplish um, as much volume and work as you can within this four minutes. Let's push the heart rate, let's get some sweat going, okay, and let's have some fun. All right, I get my clock ready. As always, I'm gonna do it with you. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Here we go, shuffle, jump, shuffle. Just side to side. Remember, shuffle, grab that rebound, come back down. Twenty seconds here. Three, two, one, rest. Awesome. Okay, ten seconds of rest, and then we are hitting those alternating drop lunges. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. Try to accomplish some reps here. I'm going to try to get 20 in. Three, two, one, rest. Awesome. Good. Not easy. Like I said, we're going to work up the Three, set. two, Let's go. one, go. Shuffle over. Grab that rebound. Three, two, one, rest. Nice. Good. Hone in on that Three, skill. Three, two, Hone in on that skill. one, go. Three, two, one, rest. Good. We're about halfway. Oh yeah, halfway. Three, <laughs> Let's two, go. one, go. Keep moving, even if it's just baby jumps. Okay. 
Find your rhythm. Shuffle, recover, and jump. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. Very nice. We have one more round of each, and we are done for today. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh. Let's go. Last alternating drop. Three, two, one, go. Four seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Good. That is it, team. We are done with that Tabata. Pretty challenging. Three, ahead, two, grab some one, water. We're gonna finish done. with some core conditioning, okay? Great job. Okay, so for today, as I promised, we're gonna do some core conditioning. We're gonna split it up between three different movements, okay? And you're gonna do three rounds, okay? The first one is going to be the knee tuck. So arms are out wide, tuck those knees in, coming out nice and long. Twenty reps of everything. And then you're gonna go into second movement, Russian twist, another twenty. Arm is gonna be out, nice and extended, palms facing each other. Imagine you have a ball in hand, really trying to control the depth of our chest. So we're not too high, we're not too low, we're out of control and the legs are coming off the ground. I want those heels to stay attached and I want you to have some stability with that imaginary ball touching the outside of our hands, you shine. So 20 reps here, okay. Then we're gonna go into a glute bridge with opposite reach. So big glute bridge, okay, and then driving those heels to the ground, I'm gonna reach right hand over my left shoulder, big reach, come back down. Glute bridge, left hand over right shoulder, and come back down, almost like a wrestling or jujitsu move. <sighs> 10 each side, 20 total. We're gonna to be doing three rounds there, team. <sighs> 